The conventional wisdom is that Tina Fey and Amy Poehler were picked to co-host the Golden Globes in January to burnish the ceremony's cool factor. But some Hollywood insiders regard the high-profile selection as a way for the Hollywood Foreign Press Association to poke the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences for recently opting to announce Oscar nominations three days before the 2013 Globes ceremony. Faye and Poehler are really a smart and wonderful choice, says HFPA member H.J. Park, who writes for the Korea Times and reviews movies for Radio Seoul. It's a coup thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Against the Academy, who hates us. The news grabbed bigger headlines and, arguably, the more positive reaction than the Academy's recent naming of Family Guy creator says McFarland as Oscar host. Good luck to Tina Fey and Amy Poehler at the Golden Globes, Ricky Gervais, the show's host for the last three ceremonies, said Tuesday in a statement to Entertainment Weekly. After failing three years in a row to make the channel's best dressed list, I decided to hand over the reins. Let me know if you run out of Scientology gags. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. As the only other film awards show televised in prime time on a broadcast network, the Globes are the closest thing the Oscars have to a rival. The Globes pulled in 16.8 million viewers earlier this year, while 39.3 million people tuned into the Billy Crystal-hosted Oscar telecast in February. The Globes will be broadcast on NBC on January 13. Previously, Golden Globes winners have enjoyed a little over a week to tout their victories before surrendering the limelight to Oscar nominations. But this year's revised calendar complicates matters since, in the awards season hierarchy, the Oscar thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Trump the Globes in prestige. They always say they don't think of the Golden Globes as their threat, but still they keep moving their nominations date ever earlier, Park said. Of course, they say it doesn't have to do anything with us. But HFPA members say they won't lose any sleep over the latest scheduling shift. The timing really doesn't affect us one way or another, said HFPA President Aina Takla Riley. After all, we are honoring the members of the Academy. There is not a competition in my mind. We are thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Just getting there first. And with Tina and Amy, two super ladies, we know we're going to have a great show. The partnership between the two 40 Thing women goes back to at least a decade, when Polar joined the cast of Saturday Night Live. By then, Faye had been head writer at the show for two years and had just started appearing in sketches. In her book Boss of Pants, Faye admiringly recalled Polar's tough attitude in the Notorious Boys Club of SNL. Amy made it clear that she wasn't there to be thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Cute. She wasn't there to play wives and girlfriends in the boys' scenes. She was there to do what she wanted to do and she did not care if you like it, she wrote in the bestseller. With Amy there, I felt less alone. When Jimmy Fallon left the show in 2004, Polar joined Faye on Weekend Update, the first time two women co-anchored the segment. Faye angled for the younger, blonder and smaller Polar to get the job. Either I'm a true feminist, or I have the worst show business instincts of anyone I know. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased, she has said. The friends also began appearing together on the big screen. Polar played an inappropriate cool mom and mean girls the 2004 Lindsay Lohan film that Faye wrote and also starred in. The women reunited in 2008 as Baby Mama, with Faye playing the part of an ambitious career woman who hires Polar's irresponsible character to be her surrogate. That same year, Faye returned briefly to SNL to play Sarah Palin opposite Polar seating Hillary Rodham Clinton in one of the election season's most memorable sketches. Since 2009, their respective thank you for trying verbose this recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Sitcoms, 30 Rock and Parks and Recreation, have been staples of NBC's Thursday night lineup, where they've managed to create new female TV archetypes, Faye as Liz Lemon, the disheveled head writer of a late-night sketch comedy show, and Polar as Leslie Nope, an idealistic councilwoman in small-town Indiana.
This will be the first time the Globes have been hosted by a pair of women, although Raquel Welch and Joan Collins co-hosted alongside male stars in 1985 and 1983, respectively.